if you need some mental clarity so you can't be in a relationship where a nigga just cheating on you all up and down the street and embarrassing you all across the world and down to the internet, then you need to drop down in the description box and get some of this tea and this Nutriburst because it'll help save your relationship and best of all, not get in a bad one. This tea do all that, honey. It cure everything. It cure ugly. It cure fat. It cure finances. It cure COVID. And it cure infidelity. That's right. Get you some. Bah. So let me get this straight. Cardi B don't took back her cheating no good ass husband. Sorry ass husband. Disrespectful ass husband. And y'all hoes got so much to say about somebody else relationship that don't affect you. Don't feel bad, bitch, because I do too. Want to talk about it? Here you go. about this Cardi B stuff because you know she a little young and it's not any of our business and it don't affect us in hell. It's Cardi B. I mean, do we really expect much of anything from them? The mature side of me, the classy based side of me was like, you know what, let them people live their life. But you know what? The messy part of me was like, forget that. Y'all plaster every ebb and flow of y'all relationship in the media, in the blogs, and on social media. So then because you did that and you made your life a part of our life, then we got the right to sit down and scrutinize and critique and pick apart and laugh and poke fun at and every damn thing else in between by this silly, stupid-ass situation. So that's what the fuck I'm about to do. Want to hear? Here it go. Now, the mature season part of me is able to go to bed easy at night writing all of this off by simply saying she's young. You know, those of us who are more seasoned, we have strong opinions and attitudes about it because more than likely we've been through it or witnessed it when we were younger and that helped us arrive to this place of, oh Molly girl, you in danger. But she's young. She gotta go through it. She gotta get, she gotta get drugged through the mud and broken down and hurt so much by this fool that later in her life she won't allow another one to do. A hard head make a soft ass and they feel like that's what she's going through. So all things constant, right? I just write the whole thing off as Cardi being young. Now, if we want to take age out of the equation, here's really what it is. In my opinion, I think she's stupid as all fuck. And not just Cardi, any particular person in this situation. I think she's stupid as all hell because she has forfeited the formula to her being. And we all, and what I mean by the formula, we all have a price, right? There's a number, there's a set of tasks, there's something that a person can do to win us over or get us back. But your power lies in you holding that close to the chest. Unfortunately, Cardi B has assisted Offset in the mistreatment of her because she has laid the foundation that all he has to do is make a big enough public display and she'll take him back. And here's the thing. She said in her video, I mean, what the fuck I'm supposed to do? He bought me a Rolls Royce and I'm supposed to snub him. And here's where the ignorance in the hood mentality come in, right? Him buying her a Rolls Royce car, that's something that should win me and you over, Nessa girl, because we can't afford a Rolls Royce. We don't have Rolls Royce money. We can't go out and buy our own Rolls Royce. What the fuck you mean he bought you a Rolls Royce as if you can't go buy your own? You're independently rich, too. And considering the fact that y'all married low-key, he bought you a Rolls Royce with y'all money. So I'm not understanding this whole excitement about him buying you a Rolls Royce. And please, Cardi, don't make it about the Rolls Royce. All right, sis? Just say you wanted your man back. 
And the real gag is Cardi really don't owe anybody an explanation. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted your man back, you just wanted your man back. Because can't nobody make you feel the way that man feel. And ain't nobody else making you look stupid the way that man making you look stupid. But maybe stupid feel good to you. Maybe stupid is synonymous with love for you. It don't work for me. But the whole Rolls Royce thing, that kind of threw me. But again, it's that hood, it's that hood logic shit. You know what I'm saying? And coupled with the fact that you know, and, and I'm just going to put this out, out there. Cardi is a hood bitch. Offset is a hood dude. And they are doing hood things. This is the shit y'all hood bitches like. This that mentality y'all live back. Y'all don't mind that y'all nigga out there fucking strippers and fucking somebody else in the pod, man. Just as long as he do it respectfully, I'm the main, whatever the case may be. Y'all live by this whole ideology that a dude gon' cheat on you regardless, so you might as well get with one with money and all these other stupid ass ways people rationalize being with no good ass men and women. Cardi live a hood life, she like a hood dude, and this is the fuck that come with hood love. It's just the cost of doing business. Now, I wish, and here's the thing about Cardi, right? Like, at what point do you elevate? It's like, yeah, you can stay true to who you are, but who you are can also evolve. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the level of success that Cardi has, with the amount of wealth that she's amassed this quickly, she literally can walk through this world and write her own ticket in love, in career, in happiness, whatever it is she wants. She talking about she missed her best friend and she wanted some dick, but I'm here to tell you, best friends don't hurt you. Best friends don't hurt you. You setting yourself up, Cardi, for uh, long-term hurt for temporary satisfaction because he has already showed you. He did it with you in the boyfriend and girlfriend stage. He already did it with you in the marriage stage and had to walk across the thing and apologize to you on TV. I mean, on the stage at your concert. Apparently, he's doing it again. That's why your ass decided to leave. He's already showed you that he is incapable of being faithful. Now, here's the thing. If you know that and you reset this relationship, and go into it fully knowing that he's just going to cheat on you again with no expectation of fidelity, then I'm here for it. I really don't care what configuration or what arrangement a couple has, just as long as all parties involved are in on the negotiation. So, you know, Cardi, if you know that he's going to be community dick and you're willing to put up with that, then so be it. But this whole you miss your best friend, I, don't, I just don't think best friends would treat people the way he's treated you and the way he's embarrassed you publicly. And the thing that I don't like, and it really is a catch-22 being a public figure because you don't ask to be a role model, but you get thrust in that position. And unfortunately, some of the things that you do dictate and drive the trends and attitudes of the general public. And I just hate that we've got somebody else in the media, public figure, that is further perpetuating this struggle love and that, you know, um, that women have to go through this with a dude to get they happily ever after. Like, I hate it. I hate that we don't have a shitload of examples at the forefront of men doing right by women and women doing right by men and them sailing off in the sunset. Like, the story and the narrative with these athletes and these entertainers is literally he gonna fuck around on everybody he want to until his ass get a disease, have a oops baby, or get old enough and his dick barely working. Then he want to commend you for standing by him after he ran you through the mud for 20 years. And in exchange, you got a couple cars, some bags, some nice dresses, and a couple trips down to Planned Parenthood because you had kept getting trichomonosis every damn month and the clap. So now you can't even go nowhere because you got clappy puss. It's clammy and clappy. And got herpes bum looking like a braille menu at McDonald's on the, on the top of the counter. Coochie looking like an oatmeal cookie. No, God, I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't want it. There's not the coochie for it. I just hate it. Um, I read, though, and I want to leave y'all with a story. What prompted me to do this video, I had to post it on my Instagram. I saw a quote 
that said, Cardi and Offset, the main reason I stay out of my homegirls' relationships, got me over here helping you jump him and y'all be back together tomorrow. Now I can't come back over to y'all house. No, ma'am. And let me tell you something. This thing hit me in the deepest of places, and I'm going to tell you why. Baby, I had a homegirl. And her baby daddy, they've been together. I ain't never like him. I ain't never think he was good for her. You know what I'm saying? But it, it was not my business and not my relationship. I would literally just listen to the things that she would tell me from time to time and not offer any kind of rebuttal. I would just be a sounding board. And when she got off the phone, I would just roll my eyes and, you know, be like, child, that's her stuff. So anyway, one particular day, this friend called me. And she just fed, I could tell she fed up. She fed up. And I'm like, good, like, good, good. She finally, she see the light. So I was like, well, you know what? Since you don't open this door, let me go ahead and walk through a child. Why did I do that? That was the worst mistake of my life in the demise of my friendship. So she opened the door, bitch. I just gave her a seven-year barrage of all the things I observed and I felt that I thought was dumb and I thought that was stupid. And we got off the phone on the same page, okay, on the same page. Bitch, I go to sleep and wake up. The next morning, I got a long-ass text message from said friend talking about how she should not have talked to me about her man, how she supposed to be a ride or die for her man, and that she should have never did that, and she didn't mean none of the things that she said, and she don't appreciate, and she was wrong for sitting there letting me talk about him like the way I did. And I'm sitting there looking at the phone like, so she don't went off, and told the nigga everything I said, passed off how she was feeling as, well, Quentin said this, and Quentin said that, and Quentin said this, and then the nigga done got in her head and be like, I'm supposed to be your man, how you gonna let your friend, yada, yada, I do that, da, 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 da. and then she done came and flipped the script and then flipped it and got mad with me. You got mad with me for agreeing with you about the same shit you were saying about your nigga, and then so I'm, I'm sitting on her and I'm like, I'm confused. I don't understand what's going on. That turned into her blocking me and me and her not talking. And two years went by and now they still together doing whatever it is they doing. Now I can't go around to the house to her kids' parties. Okay? Whenever she down to the rib check or wherever she at and he gonna be around, I can't even go. Now I ain't getting the invite. Now she got to sneak off and talk to me on the phone when he ain't around because all this damn friction and chaos don't be created between me and him because now I don't like him and he damn sure don't like me as a result of her going back telling him all the things I said. That's just one example of why I started other people relationship business. The other was, and I had to pray about this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. When it comes to being stupid for a man, I'm very judgmental. I, I am, and I lose respect for my friends. Like you, I, I'm probably not the friend you want to call and be like, your man did this, that, and the third to you, and you took him back because I end up losing respect for you. And then it's like, when it's time to go to brunch and stuff, I'm so annoyed by your situation that I don't even call you and invite you to the brunch or go out to eat or go to shop because I just don't want your stupidity around me and in my space. Call it judgmental, but it's just the way I function. I can't stand being in illogical situations with shit that's just black and white and stupid. I'm going to tell you one thing my parents did good. They did a lot of things wrong, but they did a very good job in fortifying me in who I am and conditioning me to understand that I am all I need. All right? I have never, and maybe that's why I have very little tolerance for this back and forth, you do me wrong, I take you back behavior. Because I've just never been a part of it, right? Like, I, 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 I know what I'm about. I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm going to put up with. And because I am so independent and self-sufficient, I really don't need you for nothing. So it's very easy for me to cut your ass loose if I feel like you're doing me wrong because I don't need you for nothing. And so for me, going back to Cardi's situation, you know, this is like, you're not in need of anything you could walk through any Super Bowl or NFL, or NBA or MLA draft and get this by any player you want. Now, you might not be able to keep them because you ain't the smartest or whatever the case may be. But if you keep your mouth closed and just do the stripper moves and say, oh, and cook that roast con pollo, you know, they'll entertain you for a while. Um, you know, Cardi B could definitely get her another man. She could definitely get her another man. She could definitely get a lot of men. And she ain't hurt for no coin. It's not like she's some F-list rapper, like some of these new girls that's out that needs to date a bigger rapper in order for them to come up. Cardi got all the economic resources she needs, so I'm just 
not really understanding this logic and um I think the best thing for Cardi and Offset to do would be honestly keep y'all business out of social media. And here's what it, 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 and here is how you know that these people purposely put their business out. Tyler Perry don't hear the whole damn baby. We don't big bo know what Tyler Perry's son look like. We don't know what Janet Jackson's son look like. We don't know who Janet Jackson dating. We don't know where she eat at. We don't never see no candid pictures of Oprah shopping. We don't never see Oprah driving no car. We don't never see Oprah down to eat to the Red Lobster. D and I'm sure she go. I'm sure she go. I say all that to say that you can keep your business out of the press if you want it to. And the reason why she felt obligated to get online and provide an explanation is because she know the shit look dumb and she know everybody calling her dumb and she know the nigga ain't no good. But she want him. So I say, girl, have at it till you can't have at it no more till that trichomonosis cave in the canals of your vagina, your vaginal walls, uh, then you get right. That's why we need to vote for Joe Biden so they'll keep Planned Parenthood open because Cardi B ass show gonna be down there in a few months with that itchy gitchy ya ya and her lady mama lie. And with that being said, I'm gonna get off the line. Y'all hoes, be sure to like and subscribe and order some of this tea. And I'll call y'all later. Bye. Cardi need to put some of this tea in her twat. Tea in the twat. So it don't clot. Tea in the twat. So it don't clot.